you've probably noticed something off about SML lately. Their newer videos just don't seem to have the same magic they once did. They're not going as viral, and the stories feel like they're missing something. Now, I know what you might be thinking. It's because Nintendo won't let them use their characters anymore, or they can't be as edgy as they used to be. But here's the thing, that's not the real issue. The truth is, SML needs to adapt and evolve their storytelling to keep their audience engaged. And today, I'm gonna share with you my five-step solution that could help them get back on track and create the hilarious, captivating content we all know and love. I am a huge SML fan, and I make this video with love for wanting them to succeed. But before we dive into that, let me ask you this. Have you ever watched a show that started off strong, but then lost its way in later seasons? It's frustrating, right? You're invested in the characters and the story, but suddenly things just don't feel the same. Well, that's exactly what's happening with SML right now. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to stay that way. With a few key changes and a fresh perspective on storytelling, SML could be back on top, delivering the gut-busting laughs and unforgettable moments we all crave. Now let's talk about the current problems SML is facing. One of the biggest issues is financing all of my ideas I've come up with. So this step will solve that problem completely. Creating high quality content consistently requires a lot of resources, and that's where their gaming channel comes in. By diversifying their content and tapping into the gaming market, SML can generate additional revenue to support their main channel. This extra income can be used to invest in the main channel, hire talented individuals, and create amazing content. Content. But here's the thing, the gaming channel isn't just a band-aid solution. It's an opportunity for SML to expand their brand and reach a new audience. By showcasing their unique sense of humor and storytelling skills in the gaming world, they can attract new viewers who may have never heard of SML before. And who knows, these new fans might just become diehard supporters of their main channel too. However, while the gaming channel is a step in the right direction, it's not the only solution. SML needs to take a hard look at their current content and identify Identify areas where they can improve. Are their stories as engaging as they used to be? Are the characters as relatable and memorable? These are the questions they need to ask themselves to truly get back on track. So then what if I told you there's a way for SML to take their content to the next level? How do they do that? By hiring talented people for creative roles. Imagine if SML had a dedicated scriptwriter and an ideationist on their team. These creative roles could bring a fresh perspective and help elevate their content to new heights. A skilled comedy scriptwriter could craft compelling stories with well-developed characters and engaging plot lines. They can ensure that each video has a clear beginning, middle, and end, keeping viewers hooked from start to finish. An ideationist, on the other hand, could help generate unique and original concepts for videos. They could draw inspiration from popular trends, viral videos, and even classic storytelling techniques to create content that stands out in the crowded YouTube landscape. By by having someone dedicated to coming up with these fresh ideas, SML could avoid falling into the trap of repetitive or stale content, all while taking the mental and creative pressure off of Logan. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but isn't that expensive? And you're right, hiring additional team members does come with a cost. However, investing in talent is crucial for long-term success. By bringing on a scriptwriter and an ideationist, SML can focus on what they do best, bringing these ideas to life through their signature style of humor and production. Almost all giant YouTube YouTubers have these two roles filled on their team. It just makes sense for SML to do. Plus, with the additional revenue from their gaming channel, SML could potentially afford to hire an editor as well. Having a dedicated editor could help streamline their production process, allowing them to create more content in less time without sacrificing quality. So now that we've covered the importance of hiring out creative roles, let's dive into some specific ideas for plots that could help SML create their next viral hit. When it comes to creating viral content, sometimes the best approach is to take inspiration from what's already popular and put your own unique twist on it. This is where the yoink and twist method comes in. This term was popularized by a talented YouTuber called Ludwig. SML could take a look at some of the most successful videos on YouTube and identify the key elements that made them so engaging. Then they could yoink those elements and twist them to fit their own style and brand. For an example, let's take the trend of Fortnite. We see creators doing crazy challenges in Fortnite 
Fortnite. But then we see Mr. Beast did a Fortnite like battle royale video in real life. SML could take that concept and put their own spin on it. By doing an SML Fortnite in real life video, Jeffy breaks something of Mr. Goodman's and Marvin is now in trouble and has to pay a giant debt. In order to pay off the debt, Jeffy and Marvin must enter a real life battle royale against the other SML characters. Another approach SML could take is to look at their own past videos that performed well and identify what made them so successful. Was it a particular character dynamic, a specific type of humor? By analyzing their own content, they gain valuable insights into what their audience loves and use that knowledge to inform their future videos. For example, Jeffy the Donut King is a hilarious and viral video, but what if Jeffy became the king of cheeseburgers, the Burger King, if you will, and their existing character, Ronald McDonald, gets jealous and tries to overthrow Jeffy's newfound empire. But creating viral content isn't only about having a great plot. To truly captivate audiences, SML needs to focus on developing strong character arcs that keep viewers interested. Now we need to explore how they can take inspiration from successful TV shows to create more relatable and memorable characters. One of the key elements of any successful story is a strong character development. When characters have clear goals, motivations, and flaws, viewers become invested in their journeys and root for them to succeed. This is something that many popular TV shows excel at, and SML could take a page from their book to create more compelling character arcs. Take a show like Breaking Bad for an example. The main character, Walter White, starts off as a mild-mannered high school chemistry teacher, but transforms into a ruthless drug kingpin over the course of the series. What makes this arc so compelling is that viewers understand his motivations every step of the way. We see how his desire to provide for his family drives him to make increasingly risky decisions. And then the twist? His ego and pride ultimately becomes his downfall. Something he had from the beginning of the story, but was manifested into a different beast once he became a kingpin. SML could apply this same principle to their own characters. Take Jeffy for instance. While he's known for his silly antics and catchphrases, there's room for SML to explore his character in more depth. What if we learned more about Jeffy's backstory and why he behaves the way he does? What if he had a clear goal or motivation that drove his actions throughout a video or even a series of videos? What if there was a subplot that started in January of Jeffy trying to build his burger empire that we can see develop occasionally in videos that leads to a grand reveal at the end of the year in an epic finale for the season. By giving their characters more depth and complexity, SML could create stories that are not only funnier, but also more emotionally resonant. Viewers could become more invested in the character's journey, eager to see how they overcome their challenges and grow as individuals. But strong character arcs are just one piece of the puzzle. To truly take their storytelling to the next level, SML needs to understand the fundamental principles of what makes a great story. And that's where the the book Save the Cat comes in. Save the Cat is a popular book among screenwriters that breaks down the key elements of a successful story. By applying its teachings to their videos, SML could create more engaging and memorable content that keeps viewers hooked from beginning to end. Hell, it is exactly where I learned the very script writing that I'm applying in this exact video. One of the main concepts in Save the Cat is the idea of the story beat. This refers to the key moments in a story that move the plot forward and keeps viewers engaged. For example, the catalyst beat is the event that sets the story in motion, while the midpoint beat is a major turning point that raises the stakes for the characters. SML could use these story beats as a guide when crafting their videos. Let's take a video concept I thought of called Evil Jeffy. Here's how Logan could structure it using the Save the Cat story beats. Opening image. We see Jeffy being his usual mischievous self, causing chaos in the house. Theme stated. Marvin expresses his frustration with Jeffy's behavior and wishes he could be a better, more behaved kid. Catalyst. Jeffy finds a mysterious object, maybe a cursed toy, that turns him evil. Debate. Mario and the other characters try to figure out what's wrong with Jeffy and how to stop him. Break into two. They realize they need to find a way to break the curse and restore Jeffy to normal. B story. Meanwhile, a subplot unfolds involving another character, adding depth to the story. This could involve Brooklyn Guy, Junior, or maybe even Braxton. Midpoint. They discover a crucial piece of information that could help them break the curse. Maybe Goodman secretly has run into this issue before and has an item that can help them. Bad guys close in. Evil Jeffy's antics escalate, causing more harm and chaos. Characters' lives are at risk now. All is lost. Their initial attempts to break the curse fail, leaving them feeling hopeless. Maybe a character is even eliminated. Dark Knight of the Soul. The cast other than Jeffy hit their lowest point, doubting if they can save Jeffy and stop his evil rampage.
rampage. Breaking to three, they rally together and come up with a final plan to break the curse. Finale, they confront evil Jeffy in a climactic showdown, ultimately breaking the curse and restoring him to normal. Final image, Jeffy is back to his old self, but the characters have learned valuable lessons about teamwork and perseverance, and Marvin learns to love Jeffy despite his flaws. By using this structure as a guide, Esmo could create a video that not only showcases their signature humor, but also tells a satisfying and engaging story. By addressing their current problems, hiring out creative roles, brainstorming fresh ideas for plots, developing strong character arcs, and applying the teachings of Save the Cat, SML could have the power to take their content to the next level. But here's the thing, this isn't just about SML. These strategies can be applied to any content creator looking to up their game and create more compelling stories. These are the exact strategies I use in building my channels. And Logan, if you're watching this video, this is not a hate video. This video is made out of the love for SML. I started watching at 10 years old with Mario and Luigi's Stupid and Dumb Adventures and have stuck with SML ever since. My favorite videos are when you react to your own videos with your friends. I'm happy you brought them back. I believe if you use this video as a guide, you will be able to craft the most memorable, comedic, and impactful stories out of your characters. Stories that will push boundaries and challenge expectations. And speaking of pushing boundaries, have you checked out my theory video on why SML made a gaming channel? It's a deep dive into the behind the scenes strategy behind this move and how it can help them succeed in the long run. Trust me, if you're a fan of SML or just interested in the strategy side of YouTube, you won't want to miss it. So click the button on screen now to watch it.